Although your Enigma Express will ship completely assembled, there may be parts of the customization process that require you to move things around on your chassis. For example, you may want to move your buckle to the opposite side or switch it out for the reduced size buckle. For this, you will need to remove your belt screw and reinstall it. Prior to July of 2022, Filster's official recommendation was to apply a thread locker called Vibratite VC3 upon reassembly to ensure your screws would not have issues backing out. If you purchase your Enigma Express prior to July of 2022, this is still the official recommendation to ensure the safety of your gear. In July of 2022, however, Filster began applying a thread locker called Nylock during the assembly of the Enigma Express models. The Nylock thread locker is extremely good at keeping fasteners from coming loose, and although it can make the screws especially difficult to remove and install, the extra security is worth it. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through removing and reinstalling your Nylock Enigma screws. In order to get the screws to back out, we need to be able to stop the screw post from spinning. For this, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver and a short shank wide head screwdriver. If you don't have this exact style of screwdriver, many multi-tools have a screwdriver that will work. If you have nothing else handy, a thin piece of metal like a discrete carry concepts clip can also work in a pinch. First, you'll notice a notch on the back side of your screw posts. This is where you'll want to place your wide head screwdriver. You might find that the screw is protruding enough that you can't get the entire screw head into the slot. If that's the case, you can begin by placing it off to one side of the slot and then move it over as the screw backs out. Next, place your Phillips head screwdriver. Once you feel like you have a solid hold on both, use the flathead to keep the screw post in place as you turn the Phillips screw counterclockwise. It might take some doing, but this is the most reliable method for removing your Enigma Express screws. Now, in order to reinstall the Express screws, we're going to use the same method. This time, it should be a little less challenging since we have already worked with these screws by backing them out. So first, we need to stack our hardware accordingly. Start by placing your buckle capture. Next, we're going to put the screw post in place. Supporting the back of the screw post, flip your Enigma over. Now you can add your Phillips screw. I suggest tightening it as much as you can with your fingers first. Now that our hardware is stacked appropriately, we can begin tightening the screw back in. For this, we'll use the same method we used to back them out. Start by placing your wide head screwdriver into the slotted portion on the back of your screw post. Then place your Phillips head screwdriver. And once you feel like you have a solid hold on both, use the flat head to keep the screw post in place as you turn the Phillips screw clockwise until it's completely tightened down. As the screw gets tighter, you'll probably notice that it's pushing the flat head out of the way. If your flat head falls out of place, you can simply place it back off to one side of the screw as you finish tightening it down. If you're still struggling to get your screws fully seated, you can try placing a sticky tape on the back side of your screw post, or pressing the screw post into a rubber band on the counter, or a combination of both. The tape and or the rubber band can prevent the screw post from spinning, and the pressure against the countertop can wedge it even further so that you can get the screw completely seated in the screw post. 